Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. I managed to see this on the weekend. It's directed by Luke Boisson, who also directed The Fifth Element, a film that I love so much. I really love The Fifth Element. And with Valerian, he returns to sort of familiar territory, you could say. And it's based from a uh, French comic uh, series which I'm not really familiar with. I've never read. So when it comes to this world and the characters, I'm not that familiar. I don't, I'm not really aware of anything really regarding this world. I want to start off with saying uh, this has been... It's a box office bomb. I've... Just before I started filming this review, it's taken 88 million against a budget of almost 200 million. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a flop. And what I will say is I'm surprised, uh, especially when it comes to the critics. On Rotten Tomatoes, it's 50%. And I'm going to go against a lot of those people that have really hated this film. Because overall, I really, really enjoyed Valerian. And I think if you're a fan of movies like The Fifth Element, which are cult classics, then I think you really are going to enjoy this movie. Now, let me start off with what I really liked about this film. And you've got, basically, you've got this the movie. I love the opening sequence in this film, uh, which basically sets up this world. It was a very, very clever way of immersing us into this world. And you start off with the International Space Station. And you've got, whoever, I can't remember who's already on it, like, say the USA, and they are greeting China onto the United Space Station. And then you sort of fast forward 10 years, you're introducing another country on board. Then fast forward 10 years, and you're introducing an alien race from a nearby star on board. And it sort of goes on and on like that for about two to three minutes. And you've, and you've got David Bowie's Major Tom playing over this scene and I, I just really enjoyed it and it was a very clever way of immersing you into this world. And so this International Space Station just basically grows and grows and grows with all these different alien cultures and it ends up becoming Alpha and it's, it ends up being a place of where all these different alien races from all these different galaxies uh, can come and share their intelligence and their ways of living and their knowledge and it it just just becomes this central hub of all these different cultures and races and then the film fast forwards to the 20 I think it's the 28th century and this alpha up by this point as you could imagine you know it's the city of a thousand worlds and uh, they've, got, they've got this growing threat at the heart of it and so it's up to Agents Dehan's character, Valerian, and Cara Delevingne's De character, uh, Laureline, to investigate this threat. To see, you know, what is going on in, you know, deep in the heart of Alpha. Now, this was a visually stunning movie to look at. The alien worlds looked beautiful. They were rich, full of colour. And even though, yeah, there's a lot of CGI used, um, when it came to the alien worlds, mostly, the CGI looked pretty, pretty good. Like, I felt so immersed into this world, it felt real. It didn't feel like I was watching, you know, a load of the CGI and cartoon characters. Uh, these aliens, which are humanoid in sort of appearance, um, they reminded me a little bit of the, of the Na'vi in Avatar. Um, I really dug the look of these aliens on this planet. But it felt, it was, the CGI looked really, really good. But I'm going to get onto the CGI a little bit later on. Because I think, like, this, when it came to the CGI, it was very 50-50. And I just loved this world that was put up onto the screen. Like, I've never read the comics, so I can't really compare. But this world that Luke Boisson presented to us with Valerian, it was just beautiful to look at. It was very stunning with some really nice, um, the way he shot some of the action scenes in this film, I really, really dug as well. There's a lot of fun to be had with this movie. The action scenes were very fun and exciting and full of imagination. I really, really liked the action scenes in this film. And, like, I going back to the imagination part, I mean, there's a moment during the first act in this film. Valerian, Dehan's character, and Cara Delevingne's character, Laureline, um, they're on this mission, and they're in this marketplace. But they've got to put these 
sort of like goggles on because within this marketplace is like a different dimension so the hands character has got to go into this different dimension but he's also in the current dimension it's actually very confusing to d explain um but the way it was done on the screen um it was so imaginative and so creative like i've not seen an action scene like that in a film for a while that was so you know bursting with creativity and imagination and it was it was it was almost it was fresh it felt very fresh it was fun and it was exciting and i really really liked it uh you know this film is f filled with bright and colorful characters and aliens and different creatures from all the different worlds and i did i loved the designs of most of the aliens and the creatures within this film and the overall aesthetic and when it came to CGI on certain alien creatures, some of the CGI was really, really well done. Like the humanoid, a humanoid aliens that you're introduced to at the beginning of the film, I thought they looked really, really nice. And there are a lot of other characters throughout this movie that are aliens, and I just really dug the designs and how Luke Bresson brought them to life because they had full, they were full of character. And even though, yeah, they were CGI, the CGI was pretty good. And these characters had a lot of personality to go with it, which helps. But um, there were moments... When it comes to the CGI, it was very 50-50 in this film. Because then you would have a couple... There was odd moments where the CGI was like, oh, it didn't quite... It looked cartoony. Um, some of the alien worlds, the environments, reminded me a little bit of a Pixar movie. Which is not... It's not really a bad thing if you think about it. Because the Pixar movies... Their animation is stunning and they're almost, you know, lifelike. So it's not really a bad thing, but it, there were moments where it came across as a little bit cartoony and it didn't quite fit into the, the rest of the movie. Because then you'd have moments where the CGI looked really, really good. And it looked real and it felt real, but then you'd, you'd have those other moments then and it was like, oh, it just sort of stood out. Like, there was one alien character in this film, and it's during a scene with Dehan's character, Valerian, and he, he sort of falls a couple of floors down during one of these scenes. I'm not going to say too much, because this is spoiler-free. And um, he sees this, like, sort of child alien at the bottom in a basement, and it just came across as so cartoony. And to be honest with you, this is such a, this is such a wacky and wild film. I was, try I was thinking, did Luke Boisson do that intentionally? Did he want it to come across as cartoony or was that just sort of how it was? Because the CGI in a way did come across in moments it came across as unfinished. And I'll say that was one of those moments where the CGI just didn't look finished. And there were a lot of those moments. But like I said, there were moments then where the CGI of what was stunning. So it was very 50-50 when, when it came to the special effects for me. Now one of the negatives that really stood out to me while watching this film... And it was the writing, the script, in places. Wow, I did cringe in places. The writing isn't particularly great in this film. Um, it was okay, and there were moments where I was just thinking, what were you thinking? I mean, the writing was just... Ah. And, character, and certain characters would say things during the film... That just were out of character. Like you'd get to know a character. Like Laura Lean's character. Played by Cara Delevingne. And then she would. You'd get to know this character from the start. But then she would say something later on. And it'd be like. But I, I don't. Your character wouldn't have said that. Um, same goes with Dehan's character Valerian. And this sort of leads me into the characters of the film. Uh, Dehan and Cara Delevingne. Um, I really liked the characters, but like like with the script, um, they would also do things throughout this movie that didn't. They were that was a little bit out of character. Like you're introduced to these characters at the beginning of the film, and you think you know those characters. You know, you think you know Laura Lean's character. She's this hard, cold, tough woman. But then she would do something later on. And it'd be like, oh, that really doesn't sort of match with the character that you were led to believe 
you were following. It was like, it was very, they would do things and say things that were very, very out of character. So their characters were like, you sort of, you sort of couldn't really grow that attached to them because you, did, you couldn't quite get them. Like, with Delavine's character, I can understand, yeah, you know, they were showing that she was vulnerable, but it was just the way they went about it. And I don't really want to blame Delavine. It, I want to say it was probably direction. But maybe that's just me. Um, I do actually, I actually liked the casting in this film. I like Dane DeHaan. Um, I think he did a good, an okay job. Not great, but he did an okay job. I liked his character. Um, who really stood out to me. And who I think has got potential to do great things when it comes to acting. And that's Cara Delevingne. I really, really liked her in this film. She was really, really good. I just think they struggled when it came to direction on where they were going to, you know, where they were taking their characters and how to really sort of portray their characters on the screen. And even though Delavine came came across as really, really good, like I said about the character sort of really doing things that sort of was just out of character. And then it was just like a mishmash of different personalities, you could say. But overall... I like the characters and I like the casting and I think Delavine did a really, really good job or the best job that she could, you know, do with the script that she, they had to work with. Now, what might be the biggest problem for a lot of people or was the biggest problem, not so much for me, but I recognised it as being an issue and that was narrative. Narrative in this movie is so damn choppy, as in you're following the story, then all of a sudden the story just stalls and you'll get this five minute moment with Rihanna dancing on the stage and it's don't get me wrong it's a really it's a really cool moment I really dug it. it you know again full of imagination I loved it um but it you know when it comes to the story you question did the movie really need that five minute moment with Rihanna and it is full of those moments where it does the story just comes to comes to a complete halt, and then you have this moment, and then which doesn't really help the story that much, and then once the story kicks back in and you go in again, you know you're following them on their mission, and it's like, oh, hang on a minute, where were they going? What were they doing? And that's how I felt. Now the reason why it didn't really bother me that much is because I enjoyed those moments in where the story just stopped. And you, you know, you were, you know, in those moments, you were immersed into this world even deeper. You know, you witnessed how rich this world actually was. So I enjoyed those moments, but when it comes to the overall film and the narrative, it didn't really. I mean, it didn't really aid the story. You could say that much. But for me personally, I liked those moments. And the story might be straightforward, and I, like I said, we've seen it before, but for me, it did have that sort of deep underlying message about men being uh, careless and just destroying nature and life and not, you know, facing the consequences of those actions. You know, it's sort of a reflection of us, you could say, and this that was the deep message within this story for me and that's just about men just being careless and just destroying the world around us and nature and not having to care for it and not really caring about the consequences it you know it may have on other life and other creatures and all of that and I like that and it's the story in which this world is based within that I really dug I loved how Luke Bresson brought this world to life, how he brought these creatures and these aliens to life. And yet, okay, the script was cringy. The narrative was very, very bumpy and it stalled in places. But he did such a great job at immersing you into this fun and wild and wacky world. I ended up really, really enjoying it. I really did dig this movie. I had a lot of fun with it. It had a lot of fun and imaginative action scenes i did find the the climax of this movie to be a little bit anti-climatic and formulaic you could say like we'd seen it before and all of that and it had a good build up to it but it just sort of fell flat it had it had a bad script and the writing wasn't the greatest the narrative was very very bumpy and the characters could have been drawn drawn a little bit better 
um, with a bit more clearer direct direction, maybe. But this was a wild, fun, wacky, imaginative experience, full of creativity. Um, it was a ride, and it was immersive, and I did have, I did enjoy it. It was an enjoyable experience, and I noticed the film's flaws. This film does have flaws, like I mentioned. But I, for me, I did enjoy it. But it was down to Cara Delevingne's performance why I really sort of liked her and this character. And I, I, I liked Dehan. I thought Dehan was quite okay. Yeah, his character sort of didn't quite fit what they were going with. So in a way, I could see where a lot of people are saying he might have been miscast. But I liked it. I liked what he did. Um... He was a little bit shadowed, overshadowed by Cara Delevingne. But, um, yeah, that's my thoughts and, and opinions of... Uh, but, yeah, um, I liked it. I think it deserves to be seen by more. I think if you haven't seen it yet, go and see it. I do recommend you check it out. If you've seen it already but you hated it, like I know a lot of, I know a lot of you have... Um, Maybe go and see it again. Just give it another chance. And then if you don't enjoy it the second time around, then okay, fair enough. But I really enjoyed it. And taking in account of its flaws. Like, when it comes to me grading these films, I always... i got to take an account of the flaws, obviously. You know. But then I also got to take in account of what I really liked about the film. And what I thought was done well. And then on top of all of that is how much... I actually liked and enjoyed the movie and I could connect to it on a personal level. And that's always, that's what, those are the things that I consider when I, you know, come to grading films. Just, so I thought I'd let you guys know about that before I grade this movie. And what I will be giving Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets is a B. What did you guys think of Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets? Let me know below. That's the most important thing to me is I want to know what you guys thought. And was there anything you disagreed or agreed with what I said? Please let me know. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you like what you see and you like me and you share the same passion, you're a big geek, then why not hit subscribe?